See the stumbling blocks, I just slipped on cracks It's commandment plus, so we need to stay on track Your heart as a house at mercy, put it on my back One body but you have a shy, no so we can't move slack Are we open it up? Alright, uh -huh. right, we're the Hebrew Israelites Alright, we come out here for the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans Alright, the Seminole Indians the vine of Israel. Uh, and first and foremost, uh, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Bahara, Karkadash. I give double honors to the house of David that I've ruled and teach well for many generations. Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to the, to the hope for the left that are making themselves a living sacrifice, like giving up their bodies and their, 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 their worldly desires, man. Right. Like this worldly desire, man. And shalom to the to the women out there that are honouring their fathers and mothers if they got husbands, honouring their husbands at home, man. And to the young children, man. Uh, give me the book of uh, Ephesians one seventeen and Psalm hundred and this. This is the book of Psalm of Slacker. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 17 that the God of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling that's what the point is man we're out here so the people can know all right, what the calling is about but I had to make them know what the Most High wants from us, man. Can. The whole point of his calling me. And what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. So yeah, there's riches. All right, there's riches for that are coming to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Man. All right. This is Book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 5. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done. His wonders and the judgments of his man. Yeah, o ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. Yeah. He is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Yeah. There you go, man. Right. He's the Lord, our God, man. He's the God, of, he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But we need to remember. Right. Yeah. He hath remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Yeah, so uh, all our generations, we're not meant to forget this now. Alright. Yeah. Uh, this, yeah. this is the book of John, chapter 14, and verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believed in God, believe also in me. In my father's house is house of many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So there you go, man. All right, give me Revelation 21 and verse 14. I go to prepare a place for you. So there, the, the Messiah is got, uh, preparing a place. And there's many mansions. Right? Oh. Their mansions are for the children of Israel, man. Their mansions are not just for everybody. Can. Because they're living in their mansions now, man. This is what we need to be talking about. We need to be talking about the richness of the Israelites to come. Uh, but our people, they're not living in riches, man. Our people living in the ghettos, struggling to pay taxes, rent, all right? And you're thinking you're living your best life, man. Why do you think we're in the ghettos, in seven sisters, telling the so-called blacks and Hispanics, all right, to, to, to wake up and repent? Because we're the ones living the hard lives, man. The That's same right. as the disciples, the same as the children of God. These people that were the wicked, the Romans, they have their money and they got their faces on the money, man. That's right. They don't need mansions. Why would the Messiah go to prepare mansions for people with mansions already, man? Can. It don't make sense. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and mm -hmm. all the holy angels with him, yeah. then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And that's a mighty day, alright? And before him 
shall be gathered all nations. All nations are going to be gathered, all right, right. And he shall separate them one from another. Oh, everyone's going to hold hands. And he shall separate them one, one from, from another. another. Yeah, so there's not, when, when Isa comes, we're not holding hands with Muslims, man. We're not holding hands with Christians, man. We're not holding hands with Rastafarians, man. Everyone is going to be separated. And he's going to say, an Israelite indeed, man. That's right. So those, those Jakes over there, those, those sons of Jacob, they're Israelites indeed, man. Like Paul was saying. Paul was saying, I'm a Benjamite from the seed of Abraham. I'm not a damn Christian. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a Methodist. I'm not a Jehovah Witness. I'm not a Pentecostal. And he sure weren't a Rasta or Muslim, man. Can. Or no Kemetan or nothing, man. Right, read. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Yeah, and that's what a shepherd would do. All right? Wait, hold it on that. Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20, uh, 22 and verse. I think it's 13. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 10 Bring it out Thou shalt not plough with an ox and an ass together There you go As a, That's what is a commandment You can't plough the, the, the bull, the cows and the, and the donkeys um, And make them join together nah. Make them even work and plough the grass together They have to plough separately they have to right, read that but, uh, Matthew 25 verse 34 then shall the king say unto them on his right hand come ye blessed of my father yeah. inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world there you go there's a kingdom prepared and that's what the Messiah is saying here man uh, in, uh, in John 14 there's a kingdom that's prepared many mansions Alright, yeah, go to that uh, Revelation uh, 21. Revelation 21 14. This is Revelation chapter 21 and verse 14. It reads, And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and in them the, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. There you go. Yeah, Yeah, but I want to pop this So, so there's 12 gates, right? There's 12 gates and the gates are for the 12 tribes. That's right. And that's the lamb. The lamb who is his Amashiach Yahweh tribe, right? That's right. That's who's, who's building it, man. Whenever you've got an architect, he's got, you've got the architect and he puts his name and he says, yo, architects are done by such and such, man. Right? Big. This is the book of second. No, wait, 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 wait. This is Revelation 21 and verse 21. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. There you go. So if you're, if you're talking about riches, this might you might think this is riches, right? But this give me Hebrew chapter 8. The real riches is is to, is, is gonna be like this one. Oh, it's going to be, read this first. Let me get the this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 52. Right. For unto you is paradise opened, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is prepared, a plenteous, a plenteousness is made ready, a city is builded, and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. That's, that's, that's what it is. Perfect goodness and wisdom. Rest. A tree of life. A city being built is part of it as well. But there's, there's, there's additional things to riches. This is what riches is, man. Let's get the a tree of life. Give me Revelation chapter 22. And that's going to go with the Hebrews. With the Hebrews yeah. Revelation 22 and verse 14. The tree of life, yeah? Read that. 
This book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. There you go. Give me Zechariah 8 and 8. Alright, we'll do that. Right, so the tree of life is keeping the commandments, man. Read this. This is Hebrews 8 and verse 8. Reads, For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. With everybody. With, with the, the house, house of Israel. Israel. Oh, yeah, the house of Israel, man. Alright, are going to have the, the new covenant to come. That's why it says he's going to separate them as the sheep, the lost sheep. All right, he's going to get them and and bring them together again, man. All right, and divide them from the goat. And the house of Judah, yeah. not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant. Yeah, so that's the understanding. We remembered ourselves in the land of our captivity. And as Daniel did, as many of the prophets done, we've let, let Jeremiah, we've lamented now, man. All right, because we haven't kept the covenant of our forefathers. All right, the, the covenant has been broken. So that new covenant to come will not be ever be broken, man. That's right. All right, it won't be allowed to be broken because it will have a will be have the kingdom forever and ever and ever. Uh, this is why it won't be broken. Me. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. That is riches, man. Give me uh, Proverbs 16, 16. That is real wisdom. Real wisdom is having the laws embedded in your hearts and mind. Uh, embedded in your heart, mind, soul, being, fingertips, bone marrow, your medulla ablum gata. Right. Proverbs chapter 16 of verse 16. Bring it out. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? And to get understanding, rather to be chosen than choice silver. So yeah, riches is wisdom. Real riches is knowledge and understanding. Riches has never been having many mansions. Wisdom has never, riches have never been driving the biggest car or having the most amount of land. When you die, that land goes away. You don't have that land. Your children might smoke it in a crack pipe. You don't know what's going to happen after you die. You understand? What real wisdom is, is understanding what you must do while you're alive. Alright? Right. While you're on this earth. Mm -hmm. What is what is your what is the meaning of life? Give the meaning of life. Give the meaning of life. Uh, Ecclesiastes. This is right, yeah, we'll come back to that. That's the rest. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. And verse 13 says, let us hear the conclusion of, of the, the whole, whole matter. matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. What do we do? Fear God and keep his commandments. Go on. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of a man. Life of a man is to keep the laws that you command. That's right. That's what David told Solomon on his deathbed. Right? And that's what Solomon prayed for when he was when he wanted to help guide the children of Israel when he became king. Right. That's real wisdom. That's real riches. That wisdom there, man. Alright. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him? and to serve the Lord thy God right. with all thy heart right. and with all thy soul. With all thy heart and, and with all, all thy soul. soul. That's Your right. heart is meant to be keeping the commandments. God. He says, oh, God knows my heart. He knows my heart. Your, what he does, he should know your heart because he told you how your heart is meant to be. You go off doing your own will, your own ways, some of our people, man. Right, Reed? To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the purpose of your life, man. 
That's how you get good success. When you meditate day and night and what's going on in this world. So yeah, so so we got what did we go over now? We've gone over the, the, the building, we've gone over the wisdom. Uh let's get the rest, the rest of our souls. Bring it out, bro. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 8. Bring it out. And I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. All right, you know what? Start up, start up, uh, start verse 3. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 3. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth. A city of truth, man. And, and, and you're always noticing, he's only talking about Jerusalem, he's only talking about Israel. From the New Testament to the Old Testament. Right, we mentioned Revelation, we mentioned Matthew. Come. There's all throughout this Bible, they're always mentioning Israel. And we didn't tell the Mosai that, oh, why are you only doing that? That's what he requires. He requires the children of, of, of Jacob, the sons of Jacob. Huh? And the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand right. for very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets. What would they be doing? Playing in the streets there are. Yeah, playing in the streets there are. Uh, at rest. Our children, they can't play in the streets. Because these damn vampires will steal your children and suck their blood. Man, and take their organs and do God knows what. Boy, in the Santan Ocean or something, man. Because... How much is a is melanin on the black market? Like a like an ounce of it's worth four hundred or whatever. Mhm. Mm Madness, well, huh? It's more. Yeah, it's more than gold, man. Alright, really? Thus saith the Lord of Hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of his his people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes? Saith the Lord of Hosts. And there you go. Hey, give them all a side round of applause. Uh, it's going to make Israelites, so-called blacks and Hispanics, have peace, have rest. But there will be no peace, all right? no rest with the wicked. Give me Isaiah 48 and verse 22. Yeah, let me read that quickly. Yeah. Isaiah 48, 22. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. There's what? There, there is, is no peace, saith the Lord, unto, unto the, the wicked. wicked. Yeah, bro. Mind. All right, bring that out, bro. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 13, of verse 16. Bring that out. And Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold, and the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones of Ophir and all the streets shall say hallelujah I'll say what? say, say hallelujah. hallelujah say what? say hallelujah. hallelujah and they shall praise him saying blessed be God Yahweh, yeah. which have exalted it forever yeah man we're going to say hallelujah man alright and, and, and exemplify the most high that's how we're gonna do it. Exemplify Yahweh, Yahweh, because that's what it's about. Man. It's not about you walking around, going along, thinking you're living your best life in a place that the damn Iran wants to destroy, China wants to destroy, Russia wants to destroy, damn Palestine wants to destroy. Everyone wants to get their hands on on England, but you're there walking around in Babylon doing the ways of that will lead you into destruction yeah thinking that you're comfortable thinking that you're, you're at ease because you you can go home sit down and watch Netflix and chill take your mind away that's what they do they'll take your mind away and distract you that's why they bring you the games understand that's why they bring you the games they bring you the damn 
the, the Colosseum and make you think that you are living your best life in Preston. This place is destroyed. But we're here having to come out here and tell you, uh, week in, week out, throughout the week is... Is it Google Map Campus Process on? Or no, what? it's not. You know that already since we spoke to you before. Yeah. Why are you coming here with the same, same houses? No. Sister, you know. Many don't know. That's Sister, you why. know. You I be, know, but many don't know. But you should be. Give me Titus chapter 2. Yeah? Yeah, oh, you shouldn't okay. be like that. You shouldn't be... What's the word I'm looking for? Alright. Yeah, you, you gotta be truthful, you gotta be real, you don't be like hypocritical. Sneaky and that. Alright. You know what I mean? You smoked your bike before and you're here doing the sneaky stuff. Titus you know? 2 and verse 3. Titus chapter 2 verse 3. I'll tell you again, right? Yeah. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in behaviour as becometh holiness. What should they be? What should they be? Become of home holiness. Uh, and holy is what? What is being holy? Give me, give me Romans chapter 8 and uh, become of holiness, right? Give me um, Romans chapter 7 and verse 14. This is Romans chapter 7. Yeah, we saw you in Wood Green, sister. We saw you. Yeah. 7 and yeah, verse 14. Yeah. Romans 7 and 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal, sold unto give me 12, sin. Give me verse 12. Verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy. But wherefore what? Wherefore, wherefore the law is holy. From women, they should be hold, become a holiness. Wherefore the what is holy? Wherefore, wherefore the, the law is holy. Let's read the law. Let's see how women should be according to the laws of God. Uh, give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. So now we know women should be become holy, right? Women should be doing holiness. Right? Yes, yes. This the is, law is holy, holy right? Yes, yes. Let's read the law. The this law is in the first five books of the Bible. The books that Moses wrote to teach the children of Israel the ways and guidelines, the manual to our, our life. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The what? The, the women shall, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's, woman's garment. That's a what? Neither, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. garment. You can't have men like that little boy. That little boy cannot wear that. Eh? You can't have men in women's clothes. No Eddie Murphys, no Tyler Perry's, no Chris Tucker's. Or Martin, Martin Lawrence, Martin Lawrence uh, Big Mama houses, and uh, no men wearing women's clothes. Uh, Skeptors, Nick Cannons, Little Uzi Arts, and what's the other guy? The uh, Travis Scott and Little Nas X. Little Nas X and uh, ASAP Rock. No men in women's clothes, man. That's right. Little right. Smiths and that. Yeah. No men in women's clothes. Kevin Hart. And no men and no women in men's clothes. It's not allowed. Don't make excuses for Babylon. Right. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read, finish that. For all that do so are, are an abomination. abomination. Are what? Are, are an abomination, abomination unto the Lord thy God. If you do that, you're an abomination to the Lord. Right. The Lord don't like you. He don't want to see you wearing men's clothes. Trousers and that. Don't want it. You're an abomination to the Lord. You're a woman wearing a dress. That is what the Lord has made for women to wear. You got a zipper on your jeans. That's for men's penises to come out when they go down. A sense clothes. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus chapter 2. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23. Book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. 
Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Thou shalt not what? Thou, thou shalt not, not follow, follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Because everyone's doing it, right? You're gonna rest the judgment. You can't. You've got to make it known that if you see that, you've got to declare it. Alright, give me the book of Ezekiel, chapter uh, 3 and verse 17. Read that. This is the book of Sirach. Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 13. Bring it out. The Lord hateth all abominations. Oh, he loves your sin. The Lord hateth all abominations. He hates that abomination you're doing, man. God said, oh, I love this, uh, I hate this sin, but I love the sinner. That's mad. Give me the book, give me Sirach, right? Yeah, yeah. Give me Sirach chapter 20 and verse. And they that fear God love it not. And they that fear God don't love that, don't love abominations. Sinners. The most I hate sinners. So in the church they said, oh, God loves the sin. God hates the sin but loves the sinner. But the Bible is specifically saying God hates sinners. He don't he hates that abomination you're doing. Man. But the church teaches you otherwise. The church don't even teach you the Bible properly now. That's right. The devil says, oh yeah, come as you are. Alright? He doesn't hate you, he just don't he just don't like the way that this, this, that's madness. Man. Your heart is meant to be in the commandments and laws anyway. Right? And I will repay and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep with them against the mighty day of their punishment. There you go. That sounds that sounds scary, man. He says he's gonna reserve you for the punishment. Because you're saying you're gonna do what you wanna do. Because yeah, oh I'm gonna just wear the trousers. Yeah, well then you wait then, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna, you keep going the charges then. Uh, give me the, get the, uh, give the one where it says, um, Zephaniah. Is it Zephaniah? Is it Zephaniah 1 and, uh, 1 and 8, right? Yeah. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. And it reads, and it shall come to pass in the day of your... Yahweh's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and with strange apparel. Get, get, you got Ezekiel, didn't you? Yeah. Get Ezekiel 33 and 3. Get uh, the bit of his final one. Uh, 33. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Where are you going tomorrow? Where I'll find you guys tomorrow? Uh, you can watch us on the YouTube. Same place. You can watch us on YouTube. You got our YouTube account? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can watch us on there. Yeah. Because right, we're not out every day. Promise. Uh, I think. Your website is YouTube. It's about Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 3. If when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. There you go. Your blood is upon your own head because we've blown the trumpet. We've mm. made, we've, we gave you warning. Can. Uh, we're out here screaming, shouting 
All right, with the Bibles in our hands telling you that if you don't do what God commands you to do, he says men don't wear the women's clothes. All right? Women don't wear the men's clothes. And you don't want to do that, that's up to you. But there's more than that just one commandment. Today is the Sabbath day. You can't be going around buying things, selling things, kindling fire. There's things you do for the Sabbath. And we're not out here telling the whole world about these commandments. Can't. We're telling the world of Israel, the, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. That's right. Because they was given a covenant. They was given a laws that they've broken. And that's what we was getting into. Uh, we need that we need that rest for our souls. We need that wisdom. We need that, that tree of life. We need that house of many mansions. Man. Give me the book of uh, Jeremiah. Chapter 11 and 7. Uh, give me the book of uh, Leah. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 5 and verse 1. Bring it up. A soul sin and hear the voice of swearing and is a witness whether he have seen or known of it yeah. if he do not utter it Go on. then he shall bear his iniquity yeah man if we don't tell you where you're going wrong we're going to get in trouble and we're not here to grab you in a headlock all right and bring you give me the book of ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 9 we're not here to get you in a headlock and say no Make sure you do these laws and commandments. We're not going to um, strip the sister and make her throw a throw and address on you. It's up to you to make to convert your heart. It's up to you to make that transition. Because you, if you're sincere and you really love God, you'll do His commandments. It's not hard to do. But I am in Europe land. No, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. She's in. She's in Europe. Hello. She's in Europe. That woman, she's in Europe land. So you're making excuses. Right. You're lying to yourself. I have lost majority. You're lying to yourself. Majority put on dresses, look. A majority of ladies. And we just said, don't rabbit. follow the multitude to do evil. Yeah. As, and we said, if you're uh, the age woman, likewise, that they become of holiness, all right? Mm. Not false accusers, not drinking too much. In my country, I don't put on trousers. But when I enter Europe land, every day, every no, no, no. Well, she has to put on trousers. She's showing. She's a preacher. She's preaching. That is why. No, no, that's not why. That's she's not why. She's a preacher. That's why she puts on trousers. She's at the bus stop. She's not preaching. Look, look is she, she preaching? Is she preaching? A woman at the bus stop. Is she preaching? No. So why? So, 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 stop it. Stop it, stop it. Okay, stop it. Okay, stop it. Yes, sir. Right. 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 This is the book of Ezekiel 37, verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. So we're not going to grab you in the headlock. We're going to cry unto the winds, and the sheep will hear the voice. The real ones that are diligent, you're, you're a sheep. You're hearing the voice. You come over to, to understand. But you can't be... Uh, lukewarm? Yeah, lukewarm or... Uh, not not using not according to any knowledge. You gotta gain the knowledge and, and take what it. What have I lost? I have locks. Locks is okay. Locks is alright. Yeah. Locks right. is alright. There's nothing wrong with the locks. Alright? Right. It says, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Alright? Because a lot of them, um, they, rep they repudiate, they repudiate, man. They reject it, man. A lot of them are out here, uh, give me that, give me that. Uh, you can't repudiate this word. You've got to take it on. All right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 7. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying... What are we doing? Protesting, protesting saying... Say obey my voice. What did they do? Obey, obey my voice. voice. Obey the voice of the Most High. That's Not right. obeying... No, don't, don't do what we're saying. That's right. Obey the voice of the Most High. Right. 
Because if we're here what we're saying, we'll be false prophets. Can. We'll be what your Christian pastors are with the collection plate, yeah. right, juicing up your daughters and your wives and that. Right? right. right like, yeah. co coming in onto them, man. Just pouring and being pimp. Yeah, them, them Christian pastors, they're the biggest pimps, man. Them Christian pastors have got your women out here handing out flyers, man. To go praise white Jesus, man. Which is a madness, which is a lie. Even Russia's been telling them there's no white Jesus allowed, man. Anyone praising white Jesus gets kicked out of Russia right now. Look at her, she's holding her mouth. She, she's like, oh, you're saying it. Yeah, we're saying it. That's what is happening. Anyone in Russia praising white Jesus is getting um, <laughs> expedited. <laughs> kicked out. But yeah. No, yeah, no, no, end of that, yeah, we did that one. Uh, Jeremiah, go back to Jeremiah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, 16, Jeremiah 16. Bring that out. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the old ways and see and ask for the old path. What should we do? Ask for, for the, the old, old path. path. Where is the good way? And walk therein. And walk that way, man. And ye shall find rest for your soul. And that's how you're going to find rest for your soul. If you ask for the old path, don't, because everyone's wearing the damn, the Nikes and that, it doesn't matter, fam. Leave that alone. Understand? Pass for the old paths, man. You understand? That's what it's about. The old paths. The women weren't wearing no weave. They weren't wearing no trousers. You understand? But you're, you're living in Babylon. You're living in Europe. So you're comfortable. Man. Read that again. It says, Thus saith Jeremiah 6.16 Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the in the ways and see and ask for the old path. That's right. Where is the good way? Where is the good way? And walk therein. And walk that way. Walk that good way. Really? And. and ye shall find rest for your souls. Yeah. But they said we would not walk therein. But they said they don't care about it. They said, oh, this is Europe. Everyone's wearing it like that. It's all right. Yeah, go on, keep reading. Yeah. Also, I set watchmen over you saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. What should they do? Hearken, hearken to, to the, the sound, sound of the, the trumpet. But they said we will not hearken. Give me Amos 3 and 6. But they said we won't, we won't listen. That's right. They said, oh, I don't want to hear that. Hello. Right? All Isaiah right. 6 and, Isaiah 6 and, uh, and, and 9. I'll read that one. This is book for Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the, the people, people not be afraid? afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the, and the Lord, Lord have not, not done, done it. it. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and you lot not be afraid? Can't. They're not scared, man. Can't. All right? Well, literally, read them out of the book of the Bible and they are not scared. They actually, they don't care. They're, they're, they're thinking it's a joke. I'll, I'll, I wouldn't say everybody. It might hit home to a, about a remnant. But I guarantee, man, anyone that really cares about the way the word of the Lord, they, they're going to be frightened. They're going to be afraid. They're going to be shaken. But a lot of our people, they're hard-headed, man. They're, our people are rebellious. Understand? They're right. thinking that living, they're thinking Russia won't blow its place up. That's what they're thinking, really. They're thinking China won't blow it up. And when the bombs go off, that's when they're going to run to the most high. When the bombs start licking down on England and Russia and America, all right, that's when they're going to be caring. That's when they're going to want to know God. And we're like, where's them guys that were reading the Bible? I need to learn more. But you won't find us. Man. You won't. There's not us. Oh, yeah, tell me about the Charles thing. We're not going to be there to tell you about the Charles thing.
don't, I don't know if she's no, wearing it with no, the no, understanding now. Like, I don't think she's wearing that Union Jack hat with the understanding that it means the son of Jacob. Yeah, she thinks it's England. I think she means the son of Queen, the King, King, King Charles. Duke. Duke. Duke, the Dukes of them, man. Yeah. But anyway, it is what it is. And give me Deuteronomy 32 and 7, man. Remember the days of old, man. Earnestly we out here protesting to our people, telling them to turn back to the laws, statutes and commandments, man. That's right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites. That's right. We are the children of God. We are the gods on this earth. We are. We're gods, man. We don't burn in the sun. The sun's coming out. They're going to buy suntan lotion, man. They're going to buy lots of suntan lotion, man. They're not sons of God. They're, sons of, they're the sons of Satan, man. All right? Only Satan would need to have damn suntan lotion, man. See, look, she's got it in her bag. He you know, said that she's got some, man. She's got melanin in her bag. Uh, the, the blood of our daughters and sons are in them lotions, man. In them bottles, man. Hey, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse, verse 7. Remember the days of old. Do what? Remember, Remember the, the days, days of, of old. old. Yeah. Consider the years of many generations. Yeah, we need to remember the times when how they were in Israel, man. All right, sandals on. All right, staffs in hands. We need to remember the old days, man. Uh, forget these new days, man. These new days are destroyed, man. Porking down everything. Man. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. There you go. Ask your fathers, man. Ask your forefathers. How did it happen? How did it go? The, how do I rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. They're in his, they're in the they're in the tablets. They're in the scrolls. Right? They're within the verses of the holy scriptures, man. Give me the uh, Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah. Yeah. This is Isaiah 6 and verse 9. Give me the book of um, And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. I see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. And be what? And, and be, be healed. healed. There you go, man. It's about converting and being healed, man. Right? Book of him. Proverbs 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. And there you go. If you despise it, it's a madness for you, man. The most high is, you will be ready earlier, he's gonna preserve you for destruction. Imagine you're put away to the side, like, don't worry, I ain't I, don't, I, I got something to deal with, but I'm gonna remember you guys, I'm coming back to you guys later on. Can't. And when you're in jail and you're there like they're shaking now because you're waiting you're thinking what's going to happen to me when he's finished doing that madness he's destroying the heathens but he's coming back for us he's coming back for us that are not keeping his ways man I don't want to be in that room man I want to be repenting want to keep your souls correct man All right. yeah, this is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 32 bring it out Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to like you. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Yeah, there you go. If you deny the Messiah, if you actually go around thinking you can deny this word, all right? And, and the most I will destroy you, man. It's going to be a sudden destruction as well, man. It's not going to be no, oh, uh, let's talk about it. Let's, let's go over it again And because I made a mistake. You had your grace. You had your time. Mm. 
made your mind up. You chose your side. You had time. Says when, that's why we can't really, When they get had liberty. Let's read that again. Second Exodus 9. Second Exodus 9. Who are we going to get for? Just, you got sign? Yeah, yeah, no, read that, read that. Yeah, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 9 Remember the former things of old For I am Yahweh and there is none else And, there's what? and there, there is none, none else yeah. I am Yahweh and there is none like me There you go, finish reading there man. Remember the former things man I Don't be caring about the way they do it in 2024 Remember the old school ways man you Understand? How was they doing it back then? That's the way we need to do it. The ways they're doing it now is the ways of Satan, man. Satan has magnified himself on this earth, man. Is that? We need the old covenant. We're talking about, we forgot that old covenant, man. Now we want to do it the way they've teached us. That's lies. All they're teaching us is the way... What, what does um, Daniel, Daniel say? 725. They've changed the times and laws, man. Mm -hmm. Right? What does Jude 5 and 20 say, man? It says, let's keep them in sin. Because if they're not in sin, then they're going to rule. So we need to know it before the Jude time, before the Daniel times, man. Before the, the European times, man. We need to know it back the times how in, uh, with, with Moses, when he, when he gave us, when he got that covenant, man. How were they doing it in the times of Moses, man? Right? Yeah, good. Yeah, this is Second Ezra, chapter nine. Where shall I start? Uh, nine. 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 Then shall Second Ezra nine and verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. While they yet had what? While, while they, they yet had liberty. liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. There you go. You had time to repent, but you despised it. You didn't care. Same. Yeah, that's how it so the same shall know it after death. Yeah. Yeah. The same shall know it after death by pain. There you go. What, what's going on? Huh? You're just looking. How do you feel about this? What's your God? Is your God this one? Is your God? Anyway, man. Alright, you're going to find out. Alright? By pain. Same's gonna know it after death by pain. That's why we're out here. Again, what we've been saying to tell the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent. Alright, because there's a kingdom, give me that, uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. There's a kingdom of, of, of heaven that's gonna come. Give me Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 25. This is Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. It reads, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And today, man, repentance is a must. Repentance of Israel, because you've got that time of repentance is here. Alright, you need to be refreshed. You need to come as a babe. You need to humble down. Uh, find a find a teacher, Hebrew Israelite, that uh, are keeping up with the laws, that's the commandments. Alright, every man sins. Alright, don't judge him on his sins. Judge him on his teachings, judge him on his wisdom. Understand? Alright, and, and then that's how you know if he fears the Lord, he's gonna be there, man. He's gonna a, 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 a just man falleth down but he picks himself back up. Anyone that's unjust will, will will lay down in their iniquities and in their sins and forget the ways of the Most High. Calm. Those are not the people you want to be around. You want to be around the guys that are in that repentance, fasting, praying mode, man. Right? Loving, bro brotherly loving mode, man. Right? Yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. 
from that time Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Go do what? Repent, Repent for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, heaven is at hand. hand. Uh, um, give me the book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. Hey, hold on, hold on. Repent, man. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So a part of you getting the many mansions is about keeping commandments. It's about saying sorry. It's about gathering together. It's about blowing the trumpet, getting the blood off your hands. You see how this is all marrying to one understanding of what it is required of Israelites to be doing. Huh. That is the greatest, that's the two greatest commandments, man. We, we've mentioned the two greatest commandments and broke it down A, B, C, D, E alphabetically right. Right. this is Luke 13 and verse 3 it says I tell you nay but except ye repent ye shall all likewise perish they shall what? ye shall all likewise perish and if you don't repent you're gonna perish alright I tell you nah nah you can't you can't act like that I tell you now, you got to come out of Babylon, man. I tell you, no, you cannot be moving, right, with these damn heathens, man. Or being as the, the Gentiles are, man. Right, because it's, um, for, they know what, uh, John, John 4, 22, isn't it? John, chapter 4, verse 22. Bring that out. We worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. You do what? We, we know, know what we worship, worship for salvation, salvation is of the Jews. Jews. For salvation is of the children of uh, Jacob and the sons of Jacob and the, and the daughters of Zion. Man. Good, are you? You know. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 25. 24, 24. Oh, 24. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Yeah, so he called. Now he stretched out his hand. So he but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. And that's what it is. You come out here to a hard head, stiff neck, rebellious, uh, they think they know it all, they can't tell me that and people. That's who we come to. Our people are. But, 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 but let me read in the word of the Lord. You don't know more than the word of the Lord. You don't. Right? Because we're still here seeking perfection, man. We're, we're, we're not proud to even say we are there, got the, the whole 100% gospel understood. We've got it in our hands, but understood, wow, that's bold, that's, that's a bold thing. We're, we're, each day we're still learning precepts, man. even words, we're still learning to this day. Man. Like, what does that word mean? Breaking it down in the Hebrew as well, man. Learning more Hebrew words like that. So for you out there thinking, oh yeah, you, got, you know damn everything. You're not as wise as you are. You're not as wise as you seem to be. The wisest man on this earth still sin. And if you were so wise, why did he fall into that sin? Man? Has that even pondered on anyone's brain? I'm a, it must have pondered on quite a few men's brain. For you to be so wise and to fall short for something that could be easy for someone else. It could be easy for many people, you know, like, right, I've, since I've been born, I've never even touched one of those. But the wisest man in the earth when it touched them. Many different ones as well. There you go. That's why we got to stay humble, man. Because the most I can take is, alright? Take it away from you anytime, man. So keep reading that. Proverbs 1, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. The most high, alright, Yahweh, said that he will laugh. And some people think, oh, he's a just God. He was not, he wants, he's so loving. He wants to hold my hand and he wants to give me a hug and a kiss. He, he's my heart. No. So he's gonna laugh at me, man. I bet you know, I bet some people didn't even check that part. He says, "Go read that again." I will also. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right. Proverbs one twenty six is a deep one. 
brother's got that highlight. Uh, give me the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. It says, yeah, man, the Most High is going to laugh. Yeah, your fear is coming upon you. He's going to laugh. This is the book of Hosea, 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Yeah, so he's going to go. children of Israel and make sure they acknowledge their offense man gonna put some spirits out there for vengeance man all right he's gonna put some spirits out there until they acknowledge their offense man all right for jealousy let me not say vengeance more jealousy because he's jealous all right read so it says I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. And in your affliction, that's when you're going to seek the Most High. Right. Quick. Who's to say there's repentance to you in that time, man? Children of Israel, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Who's to say that you will get repentance when the Most High comes to seek your for, for you to seek his face. Go, who got, who's got that? You know what that is, isn't it? Syrah. Five and seven. Make no tarry. This is Syrah, five and verse seven. Hold on, brother. Seek you, the Sarah chapter 5 and verse 7 Take no tarrying to turn to the Lord And put not off from day to day For suddenly shall the wrath of thy security Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance Yeah, that's what you got to make no tarrying man. Our people need to tarry to the most high man. Our people need to tarry to the most high man. It's dreadful man. It's a dreadful sight in our people they're thinking that drilling and getting sturdy, all right? It's gonna get this, gonna get you something. Being the drill artist and jumping up and down, getting sturdy, ain't ain't gonna get you nowhere, man. Yeah, or selling, selling. Yeah, selling drugs and being a gangster ain't getting our people anywhere, man. They're happy when they see more gangsters on the roads. They're happy when they see our people putting their trousers down acting like faggots man as soon as as soon as our people turn to the bible they hate that man they hate our people reading books man. they want you to be smoking and being drugged up and being a damn dumb ass, man. it's not sage bro it's frankincense and myrrh bro sage is for witch and wizards man They love our people burning sage. Yeah. Alright? As soon as we turn to the most size laws and commandments, alright? They're upset. They're pissed off. Get that, get that, sir. Uh, Judith, five. This is Judith. Wait, 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 let me read this. Let me read this. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Sister, come and seek the Lord quickly while he may be found. He said no. Sister, come on, sister. Alright, alright, go and read that again. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And, wh and why should we call upon him? Because there's better days coming. There's a better life for the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Alright? Definitely not for the Hamites. Definitely not for those Hamites. Yeah, yeah, you ain't even got to debate that. Not all that is brown, not all that is skinful is uh, kinful. Is kinful. No? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so, so read that. This is Judy of chapter 5 and verse 17. And whilst they sin not before their God, they prosper. So yeah, when we don't sin, we prosper. Huh? 
Give me the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. Hold that. Uh, let me go back. Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God so This is what you say So this is what the Most High had in his covenant If we, if we diligently listen read. To observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Will do what? The Lord thy God, God will set thee on, on high. high above all nations. Where are we? Above, above all nations of the earth. There you go, man. Bashima Mashiach Yahushai. Bashima Mashiach Yahushai. Above all nations of the earth, man. If we just listen to his commandments, his laws, his statutes, the children of Israel, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, let me say, the Negroes. All right, Hispanics and Native Americans. All right, we'll be the best, man. All right, read that, bro. Don't you want to carry on here? Or, or... No, no, no. Carry on. Yeah, can uh, Judith 5 verse 18. Bring it out. When they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore. Yeah, so hold it on now. Go to verse 15. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And overtake us, man. Overtaking us, meaning we have lost our head. We have lost our heads, but we have forgotten who we are as a people. Mm. You can never lose something that's embedded in your DNA. It's there. Even if you don't want to, even if you, you, you know what I mean? You don't care about it, you don't like it. It's, I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't like it or mm. not. It's in you. So you've got to deal with it. Mm. That's why we have to deal with single parent households, black on black crime, our brothers looking at us like they want to shank us. Right? Like what, what, what these guys doing out here talking about our drug dealing, leave our. Don't talk about our drug in and our love. Um. No, we're gonna expose it, man. Uh, you look like a retard, man, selling that shit, man. What's that? That's why you're running from police. That's why you're getting gunned down in the streets or getting tasered. Alright? Your, your, your wife's moving like a whore. Mm. You can't trust her. You can't trust yourself. That's, that's what it is, man. Because you don't, you never hearken. Unto the Lord, statutes and commandments. Right. Uh, but if you did, you'll be on high. And the, and the heathens know it. The enemies of Israel understand this, man. Give me some. Give me some deep. Uh, this is uh, Judith five and eighteen. But when they departed from the way which He appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore and were led captive into a land that was not theirs and the temple of their God was cast to ground and their cities were taken by the enemy and that happened to us now we, now we ain't got a country man Ghana ain't our country Nigeria ain't our country we run from our country Jerusalem, Israel into West Africa when you look up the story of the Akans when you look up the story of the Bantu nation West Africa isn't where we was living. Right? We never lived in West Africa. We lived in Israel. The real Israelites are the Negroes and Hispanics. But we now what? Our, our place was destroyed. That's why when you read the book of Lamentations, Jeremiah is crying. Because our country has been stolen by a damn alien. By vagabonds, man. By what are they call them? Um, hermits. Um, troglodytes. Tro troglodytes have stolen our land. Cave dwelling troglodytes. It's an embarrassment, man. How guys could come out of caves and go. Rah, rah, rah. 
from the more the, the people of, of, of high intelligence. We were the Moors, we were the Targaryens, we were the Spartans, and we got them cave dwellers, brain, <laughs> taking our lands. Because the most I made the basis of men to rule over us, man. Look at them. Look at them, man. Look at all of these guys, man. They're vermin compared to us, man. They smell like dogs, man. No, look, they got Hitler signs on their face, man. Look, hit them, hit them moustaches, man. These Germans, man. They're Germs. And they're, they're meant to be what, better than us. Because we have to buy from their shops. Bow, they bow down to their stones. And now you, you think they're better than you? They're not. They're nothing compared to the so-called blacks and Negro. No. Uh, and, uh, and Hispanics, man. Uh, uh. They want to be like us, man. They want to have skin like us. They want to tan like us. They want to dress like us. Sing and dance like us. Act. Even in the movies, Hollywood, they want to act like us, man. But they could never be who we are. The That's women right. want to have our, have our women's bodies, man. Inject themselves. Go to the gym. But they would never be like our people, man. Wait. This is Judith chapter 5 and verse 19. Wait. But now are they returned to their God and are come up from the places where they were scattered there you and go. have possessed Jerusalem. That's what it's about. It's us. That's what it's about. A kingdom of many mansions prepared for Israel that will never be destroyed. That's what we're hoping. That's what we're praying. That Israel be saved. Might the Israel might be saved from the, the these perils, these perilous times. Right, really? it says, and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill of hill country where it was desolate. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor. If there be any error in this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That what? That, that this shall be their ruin. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. They will overcome us when they ruin us. When they take us away from our laws, statutes and commandments. We got children running the women in the house and the women running the men. It's upside down. You got our men drugged up, druggies, alcoholics, in the bookies, giving all their money to the damn roulette machine or the damn horses and dogs and fighting for a damn outrun Ray and nephews or a damn red stripe. It's madness, man. Our men are turned out into damn faggots and that. Little boys getting taught in the school from damn by pedophiles. It's madness that's happening to our people, man. But, but our people are living their best life, yeah. Their, their, their masters gave them a good job and they can afford the mortgage. They're learning crypto. You know what I'm saying? They're thinking they're living their best life. Man. When all of this is going to be destroyed by thermal nuclear destruction, man. Damn, that's right. right. Russia's going to blow it up. Right? England and NATO are going to blow them up. It's just going to be bombs and fireworks everywhere, man. They've got England saying, you need to do bunker. They're saying, England, you need to prepare for uh, and do bunker. What, what do they call them? Um, what do they call it? Uh, bunker, like, rehearsing. Doomsday. Doomsday rehearsal. Man. Simulation tests. That's the one. And, and bunker tests. Bro, no one's even got a back garden, blood. You live in flats. What bunker test, blood? What are you going to do? Run outside, jump in the elevator from the 11th floor and push G. Touch G, like. Is that, where's your bunker, man? One bomb goes off on the firework night and you don't even, you're getting, you're getting, you're, you're, you're jumping like, oh. You're scared of fireworks, let alone bombs, man. 
and, that, and that's what it says, man. They're, they're gonna be frightened, man. Run from one bombing to another. Give, give me the book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 24. I told you, no, I told you to get something. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. They know, man. These other nations, they know, right? That when we are, when we are keeping our laws and commandments, they are, they're, 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 they're at the bottom of the future. All right? This is Luke 21 and verse 26. It says, Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. There you go, man. Men's hearts are going to start failing them, man. When the Mosai starts to let off his missiles. God. When the children of Israel turn back to their laws, statutes, and commandments. Can. Alright, read, read that book. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemies make it to bolt, and they that hate thee, and they, Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. And that's what we're out here to say. God, don't keep silent. Uh -uh. Makes the heart of these men to, to fail them like Nabal. Uh -huh. Rick? Hold not thy peace and be not still, yeah, O don't, God. Don't hold your peace. Man. Right, Bring me. forth your vengeance. Bring forth your wrath upon the earth. Rick? For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lift up the, the head. Yeah, look how they cheat us, man. They're, they're disrespectful for, to the sons of God, man. To the, to the princes of God, to the Israelites and the daughters of Zion, read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They take crafty counsel, man. They're very conniving. That's the word I want to say. Don't be conniving, right? They're very conniving. They're very slippery and you don't, un you don't we understand that, but in the, in the old times, they'll, they'll, give me the book of Jeremiah chapter six and verse 14. Right, uh, hold what you got. They're very conniving, man. This is Jeremiah 6 and verse 14. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Yeah, they're conniving. They'll come around with their peace treaties, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace, man. Right. They'll stab you in the back, man. All right, read that. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Hold that again. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 21. This is Psalms 55 and verse 21. The, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The words of his mouth were smooth. He's a damn. He, he's, a, he's doing the micro. He's a smooth criminal, man. That's right. Uh, they're smooth criminals, man. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, man. But what? But war was in his heart. What's in his heart? But, but war, war was, was in, in his heart. heart. Don't trust them. Don't ever trust a Caucasian, a Russian, a Chinese. All right? Damn. Um, who's the top five? Ishmael. Uh, an Arab man, man. All right? A Moabite. A Hamite. Mm. All right? Hagarin, don't trust, don't trust them, man. Don't trust any of them, but they're the top five. All right? It's smoother than butter. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Yeah, man. He's got swords behind his back. He'll shake your hand with this hand and have a sword in the other one and dagger you, man. That's right. Like a real Columbus, man. Mm. Damn blasted lions, slivery serpents, man. Snakes. This is Psalms 83 verse 4. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And as a people, uh, our nation is, uh, uh, is the nation called Israel. As a people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, 
and Native Americans, we are the children of Israel. Understand? Right. That's what we need to come to the conclusion and understanding of. And and that, and, that, and, and, in, and Israel, what does the most so, most I require of you? Man? What does Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, require of you man? to keep His laws and commandments, to repent and be converted? So your sins get blotted out. He would. That's what He would love. That that your sins get blotted out, and you keep you come back to His laws. You teach your children, the generation, who they really are. Because there are these people are telling us lies. They've changed the times. They've changed the laws, man. Uh, they've, they've, they've hurt. Uh, they've wounded, they've wounded, they've wounded the... the, the get, get, get. Uh, Daniel 7.25. Right? This is Daniel 7.25. And he shall speak great word, words against the Most High. And that's what they do. All right, Caucasian race are the worst of it as well. They're, they're the biblical Edomites. Esau will speak great words against the Most High. Can't. Talk about his witchcraft and his wizardry. Talk about that oh, he's an atheist, there is no God, Big Bang. What does it matter? What does it matter, yeah. Oh, you're reading the Bible. Oh, this, we're not living in a Christian country. How many times we say this is a Christian country? You say, no, it isn't. And how many times we've asked, we've told him. You know you, you know you took us from West Africa and gave us Bibles, right? Yeah. yeah, but this ain't a Christian country, though. What hypocrisy, huh? Yeah. Huh? Can I, can I wait? Wait, 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 Great words against the Most High and yeah. shall wear out the saints of the Most High. They're wearing us out. Alright? They're stressing us, man. They wear out the saints of the Most High. Because in the time of Judith, they knew that as well, man. The governors knew that, man. Alright? The, the Congress, the guys that wrote the policies and the laws. Alright, read. They said, I think to change times and laws. Okay, hold it on um, Get the, 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 the um, Isaiah 30. Think to change times and laws. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 10 verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. There you go. Woe, destruction of these. Alright? Daniel 7 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and time, time and, and a dividing of time. 3.5 Alright, three and a half Time is one Times is two Dividing of times Is half of Yeah, it's half So there you go You ain't got a long time left That's in Daniel's time Telling you that man So you think about it How where we're at now You ain't got long left Alright Goes here, goes here. Psalms, yeah, Psalms, yeah, yeah. yeah read that. Yeah. Psalms 83, verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. Yeah, so there you go. When they was going around saying the only really big problem that the Israelis have are the young black men in America. Why? Young black men in America, ain't they killing each other? Ain't they stabbing each other? Ain't they like shooting each other and selling drugs and being gangsters? Mm -hmm. Not all of them. 
Well, praise us to you, Abashim Yashai. That's right. Come, Shalom. Come, Shalom. There's Israelites waking up, man. And that's pissing them off. Yeah, it's trending. Alright? <laughs> it's trending, isn't it? It's all over social media. Alright? That the real Jews are Negroes and Hispanics. That's right. And, they, and the Israelis don't like that. Because they've stolen a country that belongs to the Jamaicans, the Dominicans, to the Haitians, Puerto to the, Ricans, to the, to the West Africans, all right, Brazilians, Guatemalans. They belong that that country that they have today that they're fighting and, and warring over belongs to Negroes and Hispanics. Now we're waking up. They don't like. Well, that's what you're gonna get. Man. Us waking up to the truth. And give me the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 10. That's what they're gonna like. Man. Give me the book of Matt. Uh, uh, this is Amos, chapter 5, and verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Yeah. They hate him. Alright? They hate him that speak upright. John chapter 8 verse 32 and ye shall know the truth and the and truth, truth shall make you free and that's the disciples man the disciples are going to talk the truth it's a bachelor the disciples the disciples will know the truth man. and the truth will make will make him free man. This is the book of Galatians 4 and verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And yeah, we're going to be persecuted. Disciples are going to be persecuted for righteousness. The truth is a part of righteousness. So that you're doing a good job. All right? Those so-called uh, black Amer Americans, young men, who we know are the Hebrew Israelites, right? That's who they're trying to talk about. But what else would they be worried about? They weren't worried before when you was killing each other. They weren't worried before when you was out there sing making your, your child a single parent. Like, they weren't worried before when you was there being drug addicts, hanging at the corner shore, shooting crabs, shooting dice, All right, killing each other, man. Talking that profanity over the music, they weren't caring because like, uh, they were right. profiting. Yeah, that's right. The Israelis were profiting in the music industry, yeah. cinema industry, yeah. the the athletic industries, the film industry. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. The movie, the movie. So, like, film, film. She said we got it in the movie, film industry. Yeah, they were profiting, man. Prison systems. Ah. Oh. The, the number one more prisons than universities over there man the prison systems are profiting off of the Negroes and Hispanics all over the world man but as soon as you start saying that there's nothing we're not killing thou shalt not kill mm -hmm. thou shalt not steal thou shalt not, uh, bear false yeah, thou not uh, bear, uh, the truth is a part of righteousness thou shalt not bear false witness can so you don't even need to lie. You're going to court, you're telling the truth. You're going to court, you're telling the truth, yeah. I can't even lie, I go to court, I show them, yeah, I'm an Israelite, indeed. They don't want you to go to court and tell them that you're an Israelite. That's why they can't arrest you. Can't. Because you stop doing the folly. Also, give me the book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 9. Also, how can they arrest someone that, that done nothing wrong? Can't. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and verse 9. Bring it out. A man's heart 
guideth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. But the what? But, but the, the Lord, Lord directeth his steps. steps. Verse seven. Verse seven. When a wa when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. There you go. And when you look, the enemies are going to be at peace with you when you start to keep the ways of the Lord. Can. Right. Most high is going to do what give you that. You're listening to his laws and commandments, so you've got a mission. He wants you to fulfill his mission, man. You're going to use 